start with breaking news now. A Metro police officer rushed to the hospital after being struck on purpose by a car. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy is on the scene this morning for us. He's at 2nd and Lafayette streets. And uh, Dan, let's talk about this officer. How serious are the injuries? They were serious enough for him to be transported to the hospital by ambulance about an hour ago, but they say new this morning that officer is expected to be okay despite being hit at a very high speed by a car and inside some suspected drug dealers. Uh, this all got started at about 530 this morning is when officers were called out here on reports that one of their own had been hit by a car. Uh, this was the scene. You there they had uh, these three officers were undercover. They were in a white Ford expedition. They had noticed a suspicious car in a, a area known for drug dealing. So they pulled up to check it out. And when the officer in the driver's seat was getting out now in a fully marked vest, I, I'm told that said Metro Nashville police, that's when the suspect car accelerated, hit the officer, hit the officer's door, bending it backwards and then sending that officer to the hospital. They haven't seen that suspect car since then. It's described this morning as a silver Kia Optima. It's going to have some front end damage from where it hit the officer. It also has temporary tags, so officers were scouring throughout this area looking for that car, but they're also asking for your assistance in this. If you see that car, give them a call. Reporting live this morning in South Nashville, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. Dan, thanks so much. Also some breaking news. One person shot during what looks like an attempted robbery near Nissan Stadium happened at the A plus gas station right there. That convenience store, the Exxon. It used to be there on Shelby Avenue just before two o'clock this morning. Three men in a brown Ford Explorer apparently tried to rob the guy there in the parking lot. He was shot once in the leg. Should be OK. Actually drove himself to the hospital. No one else was hurt. That gas station did have just a little bit of damage. Also breaking this morning, two men walking back to TSU's campus are robbed at gunpoint by three mass suspects. It happened at 28th Avenue North near Albion Street. According to the police investigation, three people followed those students as they walked down the street. The trio robbed them of their wallets, cell phones, and their pants. Huh? And their shoes, too. Officers are working on getting surveillance video of that incident. Also breaking this morning, shots were fired into an Antioch home. Officers say two people were inside that home on Tarragon Trail. When the incident happened, they were not hurt. Officers found multiple shotgun pellets inside. No word yet, though, on who might be responsible. We will bring you an update on our News Channel 5 app. We have new information on the death of a man at the hands of a police officer in Kentucky. State police tell us Sergeant James Buckingham fired the shot that killed Charles McClure last week. The sergeant's now on routine administrative leave pending an investigation. Police say McClure was swinging a pole at vehicles and then threatened officers with a knife. That's when Buckingham shot him. And Inauguration Day is here. Donald Trump will be sworn in in just a matter of hours. That's right. Big, big day in D.C. The incoming 45th president of the U.S. says he was elected to the White House because people want real change. He addressed supporters on the eve of his inauguration at the end of a concert on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial last night. We're going to have a full breakdown of today's events coming your way in just a few moments. But thousands of women also headed to Washington, D.C. with a message for the president-elect. And News Channel 5 Sophie Nielsen Colding joins us live from where they are meeting this morning. Good morning, Sophie. What are they hoping to tell the future president? Their message is really more about women's rights. I know a lot of people are protesting Trump himself, but these women are hoping to go to D.C. to really make a statement that they want Trump, a future President Trump, to take women's rights seriously. They are going to be meeting here at the Flyin Park parking lot in Donaldson. We have seen at least one car pull up. They are going to be getting on buses to drive up, up to D.C. Those buses are planned to leave around 8 o'clock this morning. Now, we know that these sister marches are planned for all 50 states and even 50 countries around the world. So this is really a worldwide movement, this message that these women are trying to send today. Let's listen to what one of them has to say about why they're marching. I see this march as just an opportunity for people to kind of come together and make a statement, but more importantly, to go back to their individual communities and learn how to get engaged. So a couple more women arriving right now. I looked it up on maps and it says the drive to DC is about 10 hours. 
but it may take a little more today with all of the activity happening around the inauguration. For now, live in Donaldson, Stephanie Nelson, Colton News Channel 5.